Hi there, guys. Mikey Garcia is back in the ring this weekend, going up against Elio Rojas. In fact, both of these guys have been out since sometime in 2014. So you can kind of see why they've chosen Rojas as a sort of comeback opponent for Garcia. Now, Rojas is a good name for the record also. You know, he's been at world level. He's a decent fighter. He lost a couple of fights ago, a unanimous decision against Johnny Gonzalez. And uh, Gonzalez showed in that fight that he could hurt Rojas a little bit. Rojas has a good jab, um, a very good straight to the body. And he likes to go to the body with straight shots. He's a good mover. He's pretty well, a pretty good mover on the back foot. And maybe that's something he might try and do in this fight uh, if he's in shape. He might try and use a bit of movement. Um, he might not want to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Garcia. Because Garcia, of course, is the type of guy who will find your weakness. If you make a mistake, he will make you pay. That's his game. The guy has power in both hands. Not only does he have typical power you'd expect from his power hand, his right hand, but he has a magnificent left hand. His left hook is quite frankly stunning. It, uh, it can put you on the floor just as much as the right hand. So he's very dangerous, a lot of power, and also boxing skill where he's able to, like I say, expose your weaknesses. And I think Elio Rojas, even if he was back uh, in shape, is the type of guy who does have flaws and does have weaknesses. I believe he can get caught in exchanges. Um, so, providing both these guys come back in decent shape, we might see a decent fight while it lasts. But I'm picking Mikey Garcia to win by stoppage. Now, Rojas has never been stopped. His two losses, one was, I believe, a split decision, and then he had the unanimous decision loss against Johnny Gonzalez. But he's had two years out the ring, and he's going up against... Garcia is a guy who has a, an extremely good KO ratio. He carries bricks in both hands. And I just see this as being sort of a comeback party for Garcia to get back into the tune of things, to get his rhythm back. We saw it against um, Rocky Martinez that he did go down early on. Um, he made a mistake himself. He jumped in, wasn't really concentrating. Uh, and that's the type of thing that uh, he could get caught, at, caught with against Rojas, because Rojas has some good little uh, countering abilities. I think that uh, you know he's, he's a skillful enough fighter himself, and he, he does carry a little bit of power himself as well. So um, I think Garcia needs to be a little bit cautious early on, um, since he's coming back after the two-year layoff, and he really needs to uh, make sure he doesn't make any silly mistakes against a guy who, who is pretty experienced, you know. Pushing his mid 30s now, uh, Rojas, and he's been around the block a bit. Um, but I'm expecting Garcia to get a job done. I think he'll he'll give Rojas his first stoppage loss, even though he is coming back off a long layoff. I think eventually the power will tell, and perhaps it'll come later in the fight. Um, you know, mid mid to late rounds. But uh, yeah, I'm picking uh, Mikey Garcia. I'm just glad to see the guy back in the ring. Um, you know, this is not a guy we want to to be out of boxing. We need these guys in boxing. He's got Garcia. I'm assuming he's still got Garcia in the corner. Um, and, uh, you know, Garcia is, is a really good trainer. You know, something you know with Garcia is that he has the attention of his fighter in the corner, particularly with, with Garcia. He's able to get his message through. If Garcia gets into any problems, he explains clearly why he got into those problems and he explains how he wants him to get himself out of it. Uh, and what he wants him to do to continue to do in the fight. So, so I like Mikey Garcia for this fight, and um, I'm hoping that this will be a springboard then for him to get, you know, to jump into bigger fights again um, and to get back on the scene. So, uh, looking forward to the fight. Let me know what you think of uh, Garcia in general. Do you think Rojas poses much of a threat? <laughs> I, I don't think we can really give an educated guess really with these guys having a, such a layoff. But but let me know uh, how highly you rate Garcia and uh, whether you think he's going to get back into the sw full swing of things.